Sumit Vyas, welcome to CNN News 18. Hi, hi, hi. Vishal, how are you? Very good. Sumit, Sumit's first congratulations for delivering a powerful performance in this week's release, Afa. You play the role of Vicky Bana. Now, the film got a thumbs up by everyone from critics yes. and the audiences. Are you happy with the kind of love that is pouring for your performance and for the film? Yeah, I mean, more so for the film, you know, because I always believe that if the film works, if the story works, then everything else works, you know, then everything falls into place. So I'm very glad that, you know, uh, people are receiving the film exactly how we hoped for them to receive it. You know, it was a, it was a satire. Uh, it was the kind of film that starts a conversation when you're sitting around people, uh, you know, and, and that's happening. So that that's a good sign. Now, Sumit, you are a much loved and revered actor. You have a dedicated legion of fans. Many youngsters follow you. They loved you in your roles in series like uh, Permanent Roommates and Tripling. Yes. What made you say yes to this role, which actually have shades of grey or actually a negative character? Hmm. Do you think these days labeling an actor as a villain or only a comedian has gone on? I do think so. I mean, I do feel uh, this is right now the best time for artists in general, right? whether you're an actor or a musician, or, because the audience is willing to experiment. Uh, the audience likes it when you try something new and when you're experimenting with your, with your craft. You know, they, they appreciate it. Uh, back in the day, they had very staple requirements from artists, you know, like a Johnny Walker, if he suddenly, uh, you know, did a very sober part, I don't know how he, he would have been received back in the day. Uh, but in today's day and age, they really appreciate it. Uh, so this is the time for, for artists that they must do. They, they must flourish and they must experiment. And, and for an actor especially, I mean, the whole trip is to be someone that you're not, you know, to have that out-of-body experience, to experience this, to think differently, to breathe differently. Uh, that's the trip that we, we love doing. And uh, I got to do a lot of it back in the day when I used to do theatre. But I didn't get to do that much uh, for camera. And uh, I'm glad I'm getting an opportunity to do that. What was it that about this character and this film that attracted you the most? Oh, one was Sudhir Mishra. Uh, I've always been a fan of his work. Uh, I think he's one of the only few filmmakers who tackles this genre of satire very well. satire value political situation satire and people in power would appreciate that appreciate a jibe you know so we come from that time and and that has sort of changed you know sarat joshi hote the jo jo satire likhte the ab wo genre jo hai wo dheere dheere wo wo kahin na kahin khota ja raha hai chat log darte hain ya social media ka jo pressure hai ya log naraz hone ko itne taiyar hain ke log satire karne se thoda ghabrate hain so i think he is one of the few people who who knows how to do it because you have to be very intelligent you have to be very precise when you when you make a satire it shouldn't go on either side of the rope it has to you have to walk on a very thin rope so that that made me say yes to it immediately you know, there's no question about it you know this film has a lot of politics in it yes but purely as an actor and performer according to you can an actor be political I mean, the actor is as political as every citizen of a democracy should be. You know, I, I do feel that. I do feel it's it's healthy to have an opinion. It's uh, But one should be wary of whether one is expressing an opinion because they want to have an effect or do they really feel that strongly about something, you know. So, uh, if, I am. I, 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 I do watch a lot of politics. I, I do read a lot about it. But I don't necessarily feel the need to have and express my opinion all the time. I do feel, that when I do get affected by something, I do like to read about it, really absorb it fully and then say something, especially on a pl public platform. I don't think it's wise to just, you know, hear something and immediately say and react on it. You know, that's exactly what the film is all about. You can you can you video, and immediately react to it. So the reaction is not because you felt it. The reaction is also driven by, let me be the first one to, to say something. 
So, so I mean, each act of yours looks so effortless to us, the viewers. But I'm sure a lot of hard work goes into preparing uh, for any role. Yes. What are your yes. go-to trick or method for getting into a character? I mean, for this kind of a part, because he's he's very he's a complete antithesis of who I am. At least I'd like to believe that. Uh, I don't think like him, and uh, so I I consciously a worked on my posture a little bit because I wanted to you know look different. The way he walks, it should look like a different person and not like me. I have a pretty lanky guy. I'm a little all over the place. Kafi dhila hu mein life mein, but uh, I had seen people and I observe people in general. So I'd seen some some of these people. I am from Rajasthan. Uh, I have friends who are influential people, who are uh, Rajputs, and you know who are from political lineage. So I've seen their body language, and really, you know, I, I I stole a little bit from all of them. So it should look and sound different from who I am as a person, and that was that was the effort that went into it. You know, in this film, you have a talented bunch of co-stars, especially yeah. Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Yes, yes. I know you've been acting from last uh, over twelve years, but how enriching was your experience of working with him? And do you observe uh, your co-stars just to brush up your own craft? Do you do that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I had few scenes with Nawaz. I had more scenes with uh, Sharif and Bhumi. Uh, and Sharif is a terrific actor. Bhumi is exceptional. But I did get to uh, spend some time with Nawaz uh, off shoot because uh, unka chal raha tha kuch shoot aur main us samay tha set par. So I do see his process and how he approaches the scene and how he goes about doing the scene. And uh, I had a great time talking to him. Uh, generally, he says, "You are wary to meet your heroes." You know, I've, I've always admired his work so much. I was a little wary of meeting him in person because I was like, I don't know, I didn't want to be. uh disappointed but he he was he was better than who i thought he would be you know he was so grounded uh do minute mein main bhul gaya ki you know what is his body of work and how talented he is and his achievements and i was just talking to him as as an artist talking to another and uh, we spoke about cinema we spoke about craft and uh it was a thoroughly enriching experience and conversation i had two three times we met in hang out hung out once we hung out at his hotel room and you know bada maza aaya unke sath work pe jaake so you are an accomplished writer of such originals like tripling and co-writer of bang baja barat is there a formula or would you please like to share tips today to write some enthralling cliffhangers uh, i follow certain grammar to writing a whole thing so w- when i write a series especially uh a you have a, a complete arc of of series you know ki ye kahani yahan se shuru hoke yahan khatam hogi i think sabka alag alag hota hai but for me the opening image and the closing image is very important you know this is the opening image of the of the film or of the of the series aur yahan khatam hogi this has to be the closing image ye jab kahani khatam hogi to we'll be left with this image this is what we walk away from and then i start walking backwards you know कि अच्छा ये मुझे पता है और ये मोटा मोटी मेरी कहानी नाउ एवरी एपिसोड हैज टू हैव अ सर्टेन बिगिनिंग मिड एंड एंड आई मीन यू हैव टू एंड ऑन अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट यू नो इट कैन बी एंडिंग ऑन अ रिजॉल्व क्योंकि अगर वो एक किस्म के रिजॉल्व पे एंड हो रहा है तो द वांट टू वॉच मोर इज लेस बट अगर एक वो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट पे एंड हो रहा है जहां आपको पता नहीं कि बात अब यहां से कहीं भी जा सकती है तब फिर आपका मन करेगा कि आप दूसरा देखो कि अरे कहाँ गई बात ये क्या हुआ क्या एंड देन यू मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड एंड द नेक्स्ट एंड नेक्स्ट And is finding conflict is the toughest cha- challenge for a scriptwriter? It is. I mean, for for the kind of script that I've written, it is tougher because usme koi generally mar dhar nahi ho rahi, usme koi bahut zada violence nahi ho raha hai. So, jo jo tropes hai, jo aapke clutches hai, wo wo mushkil hota hai. Because my story is more on human relationships based on the interpersonal conflicts based on the whether it's tripling ho ya love per square foot ho ya bank baja par aat ho. तो उसमें और मुश्किल हो जाता है क्योंकि आपके पास उतना ही कम आ, क्या कह सकते हैं हथियार है लोगों को रोके रखने के लिए लाइक यू सेड बैंक बाजा बरा ट्रिपलिंग एंड छतरी वाली यू हैव मेनी सीरीज एंड फिल्म बट हैविंग प्लेड सो मेनी कैरेक्टर्स व्हाट हैज बीन द टफेस्ट मोमेंट फॉर यू एज एन एक्टर 
yeah i mean i, I think every uh, sort of project has one or two of those uh, i would say scenes or moments which are you know uh, which are something that you haven't done before uh let's say for example uh, tripling when we did the first season i had written it and i was acting in it uh, not something that i had planned for but it so happened uh so it was a learning experience for me to how to hold back and let people do their thing because i was because i had written it so i couldn't let anyone change anything so i was after everyone's life ke nahi ye aisa nahi likha tha ye aisa likha tha ye aisa nahi socha tha ye aisa socha tha so i found it very hard and and i think with everyone was also getting a little irritated ke yaar ye har cheez mein top de raha hai uh so i think by second third season i got a little easy with that that you know you have to let people explore once you given them the script and even though it is not exactly what you thought it would be but you you have to let it happen uh that was very tough uh and uh, i think uh, permanent roommates also was very tough because i was playing a character which had very little complex in him uh i didn't know many people who had no complexes you know us kasam ke log bahut zyada nahi mile hain mujhe so what i meant was like physically like stepping into a lake or or walking down a dirty street wo to bhai ha matlab i would say that is tough but that's more you know it's part and parcel of the job sabse pehla hua tha i was doing a, many many years ago i was doing a tv show and uh, uh, the first time i shot in the film city lake uh, this is i think 2009 or something and uh, i heard about it and i'd seen it but i never gone inside the lake it was very filthy and uh, we had to do the sequence where you know i'm you know jumping in the lake and rescuing somebody and da 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 so i was pretty much in the lake all day and while i was in the lake i saw a buffalo swimming and i saw somebody washing their clothes and then after a point i just stopped looking in that direction i said yaar agar wahan dekhunga to main nahi kar paunga ye ye pura din mujhe isi pani mein rehna hai it was quite tough thank you so much for your time and best of luck thank you thank you